what is going on guys it is once again legacy kill hd back today we're going to be once again talking about call of duty ghost but first off black ops 2's uh, vengeance it has been confirmed there has been a trailer if you guys haven't seen it i'll link you guys in the description to it but i have to say i'm really happy because six months ago i predicted we'd have cons a, a new map for firing range maybe a firing range 2025 or summit 2025 i'm going to show you guys this clip really fast because i, I just wanted to show it off because my prediction was right i guess six months ago we'd see both of these maps in black ops 2 so here it is a multiplayer i thought maybe they could bring back some of black ops 2's old maps like in concepts i don't mean like just bring back fire range 2025 or summit 2025 but i think that could i think though that could be a good idea you know those are two maps that i really did like the idea I would love to know what you guys think in the comments about this. Um, I'm just very proud of myself for figuring it out, honestly, six months ago. So I'm just, I'm amazed actually. So we're going to move on. We're talking about Call of Duty Ghosts once again. We got the latest news. Um, I think it was June 20th. Yes, June 20th. We had Jimmy Fallon, his show. Um, Mark Rubin went on there and he exclusively gave us a little bit of details. There really was nothing. I was expecting something like the reveal of a new game mode, like the replacement of Spec Ops or Survival, whatever. But um, we didn't get that we only thing we got was some e3 uh, gameplay no man's land yeah that was already out and it it wasn't that great because jimmy fallon he's not a good gamer so it, it was decent enough i guess but we did get some con we did get a confirmation that call of duty ghost will be a launch title for the xbox one and ps4 and we did get a look at our first sniper rifle before um we didn't really get a good look because um, once again jimmy fallon not a good gamer he kind of just died with the sniper rifle pulled it out the last second but it look appears to be an l118 or an l96 but it also could be an aw50 so like those three sniper rifles it resembles the most i would think personally that they're bringing back the l11 a8 it just doesn't make sense the l96 more of a treyarch black ops thing and the aw50 maybe it's something new i don't know we also um this was something that was seen during e3 we saw a mystery shotgun i'm gonna throw that throw that screenshot on the screen um I don't know what it is, guys. You're going to have to help me out in the comments and tell me if you um, have any idea of what this looks like. But that's that's that. And now we're going to get down to the multiplayer E3 information that was brought. We um, Turtle Beach will have Call of Duty Ghost branded headsets. Um, that's kind of a good thing just because Turtle Beach is a great... Uh, they're gr they have great headsets, I'll say. Not, maybe not uh, Astro level, but they're really nice. And it's good to see that... Um, Microsoft's also making deals with Turtle Beach and stuff. It's it's crazy. And also, if you don't know, your headsets aren't going to work on the next gen consoles because of some certain wiring or some different thing they're doing. Just another way to get more money. And I guess they're not the, the companies who make the headsets probably aren't going to be making uh, adapters. And if they do, that's going to be expensive. So uh, I guess we're all be getting going to be getting new headsets, and if we're competitive enough, I guess. And actually, that brings me to my next topic. Um, the Call of Duty Ghost will support eSports and competitive Call of Duty. So that's another thing that a lot of people were concerned about because in MW3 a lot of people had problems with it if it was competitive enough and if we, if the um, MLG was going to be able to do competitive gaming with it. So it's a good thing to hear that Call of Duty Ghost will have this. So let's move on to the other little, these are actually pretty big I guess. Um, the dog will be in multiplayer and I guess um, Infinity Ward said they weren't going to discuss it but it's kind of obvious. It's going to be a kill streak. Come on. Isn't it obvious that uh, when we saw the moment in No Man's Land when the dog was taken out, it looks like an RCXD, just a dog instead. So it does look awesome. And you also can lean in multiplayer on all platforms. So it's not just like, um, it's not going to be some Xbox thing or PC. So it'll be PS everywhere. And we also. Um, we, well, we also are going to be getting our reveal finally in August. I mean, I was very disappointed at E3 if we didn't get any really big multiplayer no news. I meant news. Like, we didn't get any new game mode announcements or showing off some gameplay of the multiplayer. That's another thing I've never liked about Call of Duty when they, they wait so late to uh, give us details on their multiplayer. So, I don't know, but we're going to get it in August, which is only, like, I think a month or two away. So, they have revamped multiplayer completely. Obviously, that's a good thing kinda. Um, I kind of expected that just because, you know, Modern Warfare 3 and Modern Warfare 2 were kind of the same game. A lot of people say MW3 is more like MW, MW2.5, so it's going to be definitely interesting to see something new out of Infinity Ward with the multiplayer because Modern Warfare 3 wasn't really new because the whole controversy with uh, Sledgehammer really coming in just getting the, fin well, just uh, getting the scheme out in time. 
uh, more information on dynamic maps, guys. Where they're gonna, there's going to be earthquakes, flooding, player-driven actions, doors, explosive traps. That can be a good thing. That can be a bad thing. You know, Call of Duty introducing these type of elements, it, it's tough to tell how they're enforced. They're enforced how I hope they are. I would love to see it. But I'm not really, I'm not really sure about this. And actually, there was one example that was shown to us. It says that one of the maps has a point where a satellite crashes into the map. But actually, the satellite will have like a UAV or something on it where you can grab it. So once again, I would think that's like going to be just given to one certain game mode. I don't think they're just going to throw that into a search and destroy match. But if they do, that'd be interesting for the competitive scene, trying to see how that would work. Unless maybe they can like you pull off. They will probably have some type of thing where you can like just. Uh, take off dynamic map elements like Black Ops 2 has with a uh, Hydro and Magma and stuff so I'm not sure we'll see what happens there and um, character customization I have a little bit I have a couple pictures I'm gonna throw up if you guys do not know Call of Duty on online which is China's version of Call of Duty um, they have character customization already and this is what it's kind of I'm guessing it's gonna look like with the heads the body armor the helmet the, you know everything that's what's probably gonna be like I'm sure that's gonna be like a certain maybe currency or whatever points maybe but we'll have to see how that but it does uh, this is basically kind of like a first look at what character customization could look like so I just wanted to show that to you guys today and also let's get there's some uh, map details right here they want to make every map as different as possible. That's always been a Call of Duty thing. It seems like every map's as different as possible. There's a, like a snow map. There's a jungle map. There's a city map. You know what I'm going with this. And they're removing classic symmetrical map layouts. Obviously, I don't know if that's going to be a great thing. And one thing, Call of Duty Ghost DLC launches first on Xbox. Once again, Microsoft has um, landed a deal with Activision again for Call of Duty Ghost. So I'm not sure if this is going to carry over to the next Call of Duties or whatnot. But they have announced that it will be DLC first for Call of Duty Ghosts. So to you PSN players, you still got that one month. And PC players, well, uh, for some reason it seems like they don't like you. And actually, it's it's actually funny that I say that, uh, PC players you're not liked because for some reason Infinity War did express that they are going to be um, doing a lot more with PC this time. So something to look out for you PC players out there. So what we did see a lot of E3 was we saw some... Uh, we saw No Man's Land, the you know that destructible San Diego, and it's falling. Everything's destroyed. I'm guessing that's going to be a multiplayer map. I'm guessing that'll it'll be something interesting to see. Uh, you know, every ma mission in Call of Duty games, it only seems to be they grab a certain area and make it into a multiplayer part. And I also, a lot of people have been discussing, are we going to see an underwater map? I would love to see an underwater map, but the question is, how does that work? Like, is there going to be like a certain area you can go underwater and travel to the other side of the map? You know, I've always found it to be bullshit that if I jump in water, I'm going to die in Call of Duty. You know, it just, it doesn't make sense. So this is going to be definitely interesting how they enforce this underwater element if they do bring it. I would love to see it, but I don't know how they're going to enforce it just because of how Call of Duty's been in the past. Unless Infinity Ward's literally changing the game and completely but I don't see it that way. Anyway, guys, that's just some of my thoughts I wanted to share with you. I promised that I would be giving an E3 roundup of or wrap-up of the multiplayer portion. That's what today's video was. There was a lot to discuss, um, and I, I got sidelined. My mic was not working. USB drive was USB drives were uh, screwing up, but I finally got this video done. I would love to know what you guys think in the comments about all the stuff I shared with you today. Uh, make sure to comment telling me. Uh, make well do the comment and like the video and subscribe um, that's about it if there's any more information on Call of Duty Ghosts or the next DLC expect it I will be doing a uh, Black Ops 2 Vengeance video whenever that comes out that comes out July 12th so look out for that you Xbox gamers just letting you know anyway guys um, I'm Legacy Kill HD and that's about it it's, uh, it's been a longer video so I'm out peace